start keeping people together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oops, ready? Okay, got it. Okay. I'm going to skip the ums, all right? However you do. <laughs> so I'm in a house in an area. I don't know if it's a house I'm in or I'm outside the house. There's a swimming pool. I'm in the backyard and there's a swimming pool. Mm -hmm. But the swimming pool is somehow connected with a larger body of water. And I don't know exactly how this starts but I feel like I'm hiding, not wanting to be detected. Actually, that may be just a little bit later, but in the beginning, I'm interested in the pool. Yeah, like there's an experience of the vastness, the beauty, the singular curiosity, curiousness of the scene, like the vast, the bigness of the pool. The pool is big too, not just the body of water it was connected to. And then there was a channel going out to the bigger body of water. And then there was being chased by someone who was able to access a gun through something, some container device on a wall outside the house, connected to the house. So I was being hunted by this person. And as I saw it, the best way to not get shot was to be submerged in the water. And so that's how I evaded getting shot. And frankly, I'm not sure about the details, but maybe I ended up shooting him with his own gun or somehow dealing with that problem. But that just contributed to me feeling like I'm still being hunted, but by other people in the house. And then I had a friend. I say a friend because, I mean, eventually, as the dream goes on, he helped me get away. I think though he may have been connected with the people inside the house. I remember at a certain point I was using the channel towards the larger body of water to keep concealed or to escape my hunters. But that never ended up working out because I think my helper brought me somewhere else. And you know, before he had done that, I had already acquired the gun of the person I shot, <laughs> if that's what I did. And his bullets, and then we were at this other house. Oh, I also acquired the, his bullets. And then we were at this other house, and the people in that house needed help. Seemed like they were an African-American or colored family of some sort. And there was like an overweight member of the family, like an aunt, and she wouldn't move from a certain spot. But they needed her to move, and they wanted to get some sliding glass doors open. And I helped them with those objectives getting her to move, getting the sliding glass door open, and then like had a conversation with some of them. They were younger about how the ant was behaving and they were talking about not liking her, their dismay at having to live with her. 
At any rate, I turned to talk with my friend, and my concerns went back to my situation. And I was asking him, you know, if he could get me some more weapons, essentially, or for help. But my help was understood by myself in terms of weapons, ammunition, support, like logistical support with respect to violence. And he said, yeah, you know, I can, uh, I can get you a place to stay, and you know, I could, uh, you needed a job, you need a job, I could pay you $18 an hour. He was on a different track of help, and that's when the dream ended. Good. Okay, agree? Every dream has a goal. States of mind, patterns, and then our task is to follow the words of the logos. Going backwards, do you see repeating patterns in a dream? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What connects them together? Okay. Next. Are there clear states of mind? Is there a goal? Hmm. Okay. Within that, since it's a, the dream is a drama, can you pick up the highs and the lows? What does it mean to you as you look at the dream? Okay. So, on the, on the surface, LOR, in the simple sense, is it a failure or a success? Uh, I'd say it's a success. Success. Yeah, okay. And we want to know why he's having the dream What's important? Why is the dream, why is your mind creating this dream at this point, in this time? That's the analogy, right? And then we have to find to what is it analogous? Yeah. Ah, analogous, analogous. So, um, as you look at it, do you find highs and lows? Mm -hmm. uh, what's the significance of the highs and lows? <coughs> Could it go on? Did there something interrupted? Um, what states of mind are present in it that causes these shifts? Okay, so what question am I going to ask you? Since all of these are there. Well, I don't know what you're going to ask me, but I have yeah. a question. Go ahead. Well, go ahead. Is it a success because I evaded my hunters is how well it? I asked these people yeah. we don't care what they All think right. right it has to come out of you okay <laughs> right yeah so what am I going to ask thank you I have no idea Do it again. What's the pivotal point? Yeah. Uh, it's interesting, right, that he's in this uh, appreciating the larger body of water in the pool, and then all of a sudden, I'm being chased by someone who was able to access a gun. Therefore, what do you find interesting about that? Well, that's a huge transition from one to the other. Right. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that, that stood out to me. Yeah. That 
I mean, really, it, it, for me, it seems like some kind of crime drama that blends a beauteous natural scene with some dark theme, because that was present from the beginning of the dream. I mean, even, even the vastness of the water, and I didn't include this in my recollection, that the, the, the bodies of water had trees on either side contributing to the beauty of the scene, like it was like bayou country or something. If that, I mean, it could have been not bayou, but some other type of climate, but still beautiful. Right. But dark, it was like dark out, too. Mm -hmm. um, what do you want to ask? Hmm. Just, I just got caught in the shift, I think. Yeah. I mean, there's this uh, observing like a vast body of water, and you just mentioned Right. It's almost like there's like a, a focus of entering into some kind of power. Yes. And and then all of a sudden the stuff with the violence comes out. It's almost like there's a, a threat to that vision. That that's right. And what do you want to know about it? Yes, you're right. What's the source of, of the threat? Okay. What's, what is the threat? Mm. Not that bad. Anyone to pick that up and push it? What what was it like when that vision was interrupted. Okay. I want to know what state of mind, so we need more words to the following. Is there? Six lines down. Like there's an experience of vastness. Got it? Want to read it, please? Like there's an experience of the vastness, the beauty, the singular curiosity, curiousness of the scene. Like the vast, the bigness of the pool. The pool is big too, not just the body of water it was connected to. Good. You know, like, how is it that a pool is connected to a body of water? That, there's some curiosity there. Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. By the way, it's not a have you had tool. other experiences of beauty in your life? Sure. Where would you rank this hierarchically? 8.5. Right, 4 to 5? 8.5, yeah, up there. It's, up there. Yeah. How high? In the middle? To 4, I'm not sure I understand the 4 or 5. No, I said 8.5 if we're talking on a scale of 1 through 10. Thank you. I wanted to make sure of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's go back into it. Singular curiosity. Right? Right. Uh, was there any sense that it was final or could it have gone on? Well, that's just it. The pool is extending to another bigger body of water. That's right. So could have gone on, yes. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'd say that was a principal That's property right. in that scene. Yeah, yeah. Therefore, he's on the verge of what? A profound breakthrough. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's got 8.5 now. It could go on. So what breaks it? And then there was being chased by someone. That's what broke it. See? Right? Wow. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> Huh. Would we, following the same logic, right? Would you not agree we're going to be looking for another state of mind? Sure. What line would you use?
So I was being hunted by this person? Good. Go ahead. What was that like in the dream? No, I was afraid. I, I was afraid. More. What's it like being right? You're being hunted. Tense. Tense? Yeah. I don't know the word. More. Tense. See, what do I want you to do? I want you to get back in the dream and see whether at that point in the dream you can add words to that state of mind. Okay. No. I, okay, second. Okay, next one. Okay? I'll take what you got. All right? Uh, the next one follows it. I, I used, right, I was using the channel, the larger body of water, to keep concealed. Why? What was that like? Right. To keep concealed, to, to escape. It never worked out, see. Therefore, it's a state of mind that went on over a length of time. Right? In the dream. It continued. What was that like? It was unpleasant. I don't know the word. <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't like it. I mean, even now, I don't like it because... I didn't understand why I was being hunted in the first place. That's part of the dream. <clears throat> That's part of the dream. What was it like being, come on, there you are, you have a solution. What's your solution? To get to that water to keep concealed or to escape my hunters. What was it like in that experience? You're using the water to conceal yourself, right? What did that do to you in the dream? I don't know, it was like having a plan not being sure if it was going to work, yet pursuing it anyway. I was anxious, desperate. Okay. Hi. He said desperate. 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 Okay. Would you agree now we have a shift in the scene? People are in the house. Mm -hmm. Appear to be African American. Fine. Now look here. See, this is one. This is the second saying. We're going to contrast what it was like here and how you were doing it here in the second saying. Therefore, we're going to look for states of mind just as we did before. Right? I help them with their objectives. Got it? 
What did you do to go through that and to do that helping? It seemed completely normal. But I don't know what normal is. Well, what I mean is the whole state of mind of being anxious and desperate was not there anymore. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. Yeah, but what was it like in that family? You saw that woman and you did something. What was it like helping them, I asked, in the dream? I don't, I, I, it's, I, there's no state of mind there. I just acted. I, I, I don't mind. I didn't get anything out of it. It was like there was something that needed to be done, so I did it. With what spirit did you use? A helpful one. Helpful, come on, helpful, <laughs> open? Open, sure. Come on, helpful. Come on, you, you add it. I use the word open. Open. You could use the word natural. Natural, yeah. I like yeah, that. what does that mean? See, you see a problem that you can help to fix and you do it and you don't think twice about it. Right, so for you it was, the word natural has a certain value, doesn't it? Yeah. Right? Say, by the way, uh, same question. Uh, you've been in that state of called being natural before, have you not? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, this reminds me very much of like having, you know, a simple problem presented to me by a student in class and Help. helping them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Among the come on, among the situations where you were helping in any way, rank it. Just as before you ranked it at eight five. Go ahead. Right? I have a history of being a helper. It's normal for me. It's open. I've done it before. Can you, can you compare that experience in the dream with past experiences when you experience this so-called normal state, open, natural state? Helpful. Huh? And helpful. And helpful, thank you. Yeah. Where would you plank it? Where would you rank it? On the top? Oh, if we were to rank it in terms of being mundane, I'd give it a 10. Thank you. Right? A peak experience. What I mean is yeah. uninteresting. Like, yeah. you help a, fa yeah. a bigger woman get up yeah. and you get the door open. <laughs> yeah. But in terms of states of mind, that was a high state. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right? Would you agree? Three. You revert back to one. Yeah. Well, to the second part of one, yes. Right? Okay, I'm there. And now you're asking for help. <coughs> right? Mm hmm. And you have a plan. <laughs> What you're calling help. Yes. What happened to your plan? It was ignored. Ignored. Yeah. What was it like ignoring it? Come on. And he offered an alternative. It was puzzling. Puzzling. Yeah. I like that. Come on, what's that like? Come on, puzzling. You've been into many states of puzzlement before? Mm. Um, what do they call it? Cognitive dissonance? Like, did I just say something? <laughs> what are you saying? I didn't need a job. I didn't... Place to stay might been okay, but I thought I needed guns and... But he's offering something else. Yeah. Okay, what's the effect it had on you? Go ahead. Um, bewilderment. I, I don't know what to say beyond that. Well, look here. He's saying, hey, look, 
rather than go out and get guns, here's a chance to get a... A, a, a place to stay and a job. A job. Yeah. Well, what's he doing with your plan? Well, it's, just, it's like he's talking to somebody else um, in a different type of situation than I was in. Well, he, go ahead. Is it, you say he ignored what you wanted. Yeah. Hmm. Is he offering something else? Yeah. What's the significance of his plan versus your plan? Well, his plan is not violent. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I try. What yeah. else? Would your plan uh, get you back into danger? Yeah. Oh. Oh. What do you think of that? It's interesting. Why? What do you find interesting about it? Well, just, it seems like he's got a different vision yeah. of what's good for me yeah, yeah. than I got. Yeah. Yours would get you back into the, the battle. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, what did that do to you? Huh? See, three, your plan would get you back into stage 2A, wouldn't it? Combat, concealing, war, killing, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. That would get you back into this state too. Desperate. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. So what? Well, I, I don't. I. I can't say what it would do. What it did to me because I woke up right That's, then. Yeah, but you have enough. <laughs> it would continue. Come on, it would continue. The battle. Sure. He's offering. Hey, what you need is a job. Here's a eighteen dollar job. <laughs> right. Yes. Place to stay. And he's called a friend. That's right, because earlier he helped me. Yeah, does it turn out he was helpful? Um, you know, if there was any sense in the dream that I needed a place to stay and a job, I would say yes. Yeah. But yeah. that wasn't clear to me. I mean, I've been in that place in my life in the past where yeah. I need a place to stay and a job, sure. but sure. that wasn't in the dream. But that's not in the dream. Yeah. Right. So, so we can't use it in terms of your everyday world, but only the dream world. So, okay. So, in any case, you see what it would do. He w I'll tell you this much. He was in a different state of mind than I was. Well, what state of mind was he in? I don't know. Re relaxed. Come on, more. Um, maybe even humored. Humor? Come on, more. He seemed cool. Uh, I don't know the word. What does it mean? Unperturbed. More. Kind. Kind. Seems to have a few virtues. Yeah. Oh. Got a good friend. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I can't put a face on him, but... Well, that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. All right, all right, all right. Here's your friend. Right? Yeah. By the way, would that in any way uh, change your goal if you followed his advice? Yeah. 
Yeah. Is it possible it may bring you back to stage one? Since... Yeah. The way I'm describing him is consistent more with stage one than... Yeah. Yeah. So it might get you back into a continuous state that you find so valuable, huh? Hmm. Huh. So, uh, how is he... One more word. What do we need? How is he functioning? He's a consistent helper. So is a garbage street cleaner. <laughs> what kind of a helper? A vital helper. Um, on little things? First aid guy, guy goes to put bandages on small wounds. <laughs> Someone's always laughing. Here I, I am trying to be serious. No, he's... Well, how is he? Saved my life. Changed the life, teacher. He, sa he saved my life earlier in the dream. Oh. Oh. Uh, let's see. Actually, um... A fireman. Effective. He's effective. Effective. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a fireman. Well, no, I say he's effective because the strategy I tried to use to keep it concealed didn't help me to get yeah, away. Yeah, we still want to know how he's functioning. Maybe. I offered a fireman. Okay. How's he functioning? Well. Well? Yeah. What? He's functioning well. <laughs> so is a fireman. Does that answer it? <laughs> well, a fireman will save your life. Yeah. Did you like a fireman? I don't know. I don't you know. don't know? Ideally? Uh, well, ideally what? Like what? A fireman? So is a waiter. I'm not sure what to say, aside from what I've already said. He's like a friend, you know, a helper, a consistent helper. I agree He's with you. Cool. It's difficult to put a name on someone. He's who got has resources. He's resourceful. Um, yeah, and it changes your life. Yeah. Direction of your life, and that's just like a waiter. No, it changes the direction of my life. Did it? Would it? Yes. Oh, oh, oh! Therefore, he's like a waiter. No. Okay. He's more like a philosopher. Oh, <laughs> one of those dudes. Yeah. What kind of a philosopher? What kind of a philosopher? Not it, the kind that teach in universities. An ancient one. Oh, from the old school. Yes. Ah. A sage. Yes, that's right. What kind of a healthy guy? I didn't never even really thought about this stuff before. Well, why would we were talking? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a what kind of a dude do you have as a friend? A sage, M similar to those of the ancient days. Yes, an old philosopher, right? Yeah. With all those virtues, right? Someone who can see that what I thought was good for me was not. Oh. He had a better vision than what I was oh. stuck on. And he may get you back to a state that you left. Yeah. Right? It could have gone on. Yeah. With that teacher of yours, that's what he's doing. Therefore, it might go from eight to five to... Right, right. Remember that point you made before in the history of being a helper? You're doing fine. You're in a peak experience. You're in a good state of mind. Hmm. So you're in a good state of mind in this section with the, the uh, black family, right? Africa, America, right? So you're operating on a very high level, except when you're going around killing people. <laughs> Find it curious? Yeah. Okay, look here. What are we going to ask now? The analogy. Well, how it relates to my daily life? 
Yeah. Or what's well, happening there? Yeah. The key point then in the dream is what broke, took you away from that high 8.5 state, and that's this state of mind. Got that state of mind? Desperate, right? Not sure to work out, right? I'm going along, right? I concealed, worried about being shot. Got all that state of mind? Yeah. Yeah. Go back in the dream, take a look at that moment. See whether you want to add to that state of mind. So got a got a nice description of what that was like. Again. Well, I'd say hysterical. Hysterical. Tunnel vision. Tunnel vision. Good. Uncurious. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I presume you can put your finger on it. You've added some nice words to it, right? Right now. Where does that go in your past? that state of mind? When did you encounter it? Or we could ask, what price have you been paying for the, that state of mind entering into your life? Two things came up. The the that state that we discussed last week with my mom following me to school. Good. Right. And then. Um, Good. So it reminds you of that state of mind that you expressed before with your mother. Yeah. When you were how old? Five. Right. So in the past, the five-year-old scene. Yeah. Right. Is similar. Yeah. Especially with that you know, determined effort to stay behind me rather than walking with me, me trying to get her to explain what she was doing and be with me yeah. rather than behind me and she's staying yeah. behind me like a hunter. Yeah. Like she's hunting me. Yeah. <clears throat> wanting me to be in that yeah. fear state. Yeah. It looks like that state that you experience at five years old is showing itself up in the dream and it, it, when it comes in it blocks you from getting into that more, much more profound and high state of beauty. Mm -hmm. So where do you see it in your present day? Like you had this dream, what date was it? Ten. It was last Saturday. Yeah, okay. What did you experience in the past couple of days? I experienced it earlier today. Hmm? I experienced it yesterday. Good. I think. Then, hey, your mind wants you to take a look at what happened yesterday and the price you're paying for its recurrence. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do about it? If this is true, what, is, what does that mean? Your mind is telling you something rather important, isn't it? Yeah. Let me ask you. If you have I need to pay attention to what my mind is telling me. Yeah. Yeah. Because when it happened yesterday, it was speaking to me also. Yeah. yeah. So if you <laughs> knew this before yesterday, you might have been able to use it to offset what happened yesterday. <laughs> 
right? Yes. How would you have changed it? I would have made a different decision. Huh? I would have made a different decision than I did. That would have been better? Yeah. For you and everyone else? Yes. For me and everyone else is interesting. <laughs> Good. Okay. So we're not going to do Oh, yeah, I'll do a couple of things. I'll bring you back. Okay, perfect. Please. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, Wait a minute. He yeah. submerged himself in the water. Yes. And we said earlier that somehow being around the water and the trees was like a sign of a breakthrough. Yes. And somehow, in order to avoid the danger, it was like a submersion into the place that's the, the source of the, of the breakthrough. That's right. And at least the place where things comes up. That's right. Nice dream, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mind is his friend. Maybe that's what it is, a friend. That's it. Up no, internal, yeah. external. Yeah, it's yeah. there. Yeah, good thing. Good thing. Someone else? Yes? How's your world? Uh, sure. Are we still asking him questions? Or are we moving on? Yeah, go ahead. This dream happened last Saturday? Yeah. And that's the night after you studied the dream on Friday night? Yeah. <laughs> What do you make of that? Saturday comes out the front. Yes. What do you make of that? <laughs> <laughs> I was just getting my ducks in a row. <laughs> good, good. What do you make of that? Like, how, do you see any connection to what you did on Friday night? Yep. And what is that? Thank you for asking, Josh. Uh, let's see, I wrote some thoughts about that in anticipation of that question, I think. I'm thrilled to even be back into dream work, and I'm aware of a tendency to avoid it emerging even while being back into it. Like this morning, I recorded a dream, and there was something in me that wanted to pull away from it. Like a cover-up job of whatever problem I'm having in my daily life. And that plays a role in the third dream. Thank you. <coughs> Good. Good. Covering up evasion. Now, he has another dream. We're going to do another one, and then we'll come back and do the next dream. Alley oop. Okay. You got one? Good. Got one? Good. Okay, so this is. Hold it. I just uh, Hold it. printed it out or wrote it out just now. This is yours. So this this dream was also Saturday morning, last Saturday after I explored my three dreams with you. Uh, okay, this they're kind of similar, but okay. So all night I was grappling with this issue of there being something like a blue container, like a square container, plastic 
submerged in the unconscious, like I was holding it by a fishing line, like as a child with a drop line, just dropped the line in down there. And then I'd pull it up and there'd be water in it, in the case. That was, and that was the question. Was it some commercial substance that was in it to begin with? Or did I drop it in and the water leaked in? All night, drop it down there and pull it up. And what was the nature of that substance? Is it real? Whatever it was, it was like a row of stuff happening. Uh -oh. A row of stuff happening. This was all the way on the right side. And I'd put it down and pull it up. And other people were walking by and periodically looking down to see what I had pulled up. They were only peripherally in interested. This was something I had to grapple with. So, hmm. yeah. Yeah, go ahead. That was it. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Now, something had happened the night before I had gone to this meeting for the Jung group and we're reading Man and His Symbols and we didn't get very far. We only got a few pages in and it seemed like the message was or what he was saying was that we have to all recognize that there's a consciousness but that there's also an unconsciousness that we're not willing to, that we, that we might find hard to admit, but that um, we, we need to accept it. So I had trouble with that. All you need to tell us is why. Well, well at the time we were talking about Donald Trump because it was hard for me to believe that there were so many people who liked Donald Trump. And so when we read these three pages, one of the people in the group said, He's, Carl Jung is so hard to understand. What is he saying here? And this other person in the group said, he's saying that there's a conscious and an unconscious and you have to accept that. And I quickly read it over again and basically that that is what he was saying and um, so I thought oh like Donald Trump people like it's hard to accept that there are people out there like that but you need to accept that yes there are people like that yeah. and I was kind of happy with that analogy or simile yeah. Yeah. Um, and but None. the feeling is similar to this dream, I'm grappling not. with that. <coughs> okay. But you resolved it. You said you resolved that issue by seeing it may be parallel to the Trump phenomena. Yeah. So were you puzzled in the end? Because it looks like the puzzle is back here. Yeah, no, I'm not completely satisfied with that. Yeah, good. good, good. And shall we stay in the dream then? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what am I going to ask you? Uh, was there a goal? Good. Was there? Um, yeah, I was yeah. sending this plastic container down dropping it down into, into the water. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, yeah. only I call, it in, I call it the unconscious. I say it was submerged in the unconscious. Pardon me. Was that in the dream? Yeah. 
was the word unconscious in the dream, or is that your interpretation? Oh, I say, um, let's see. Was it in the dream? Yeah, it was in the dream. Okay, it's in the dream, it's part of the dream. Mm-hmm. Right. Could you read that phrase where that appears? Well, it's right at the beginning that there, the issue was there being something like a blue container, like a square container, plastic, that was submerged in the, that was submerged in the unconscious. Is that literally there? It was submerged in the unconscious? Yeah, like... Subconscious or unconscious? Unconscious. Tell me, tell me. Like I was holding it by a fishing line, like as a child with a drop line. And then I'd fill it up, and there'd be like water in it. So yeah. now I'm back Have with the drink. water and the plastic yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. What question am I going to ask? Um, well, so, I mean, it's not clear what the goal is, actually. Um, Don't you want to discover something? Oh, yeah. That's fine. I want to know about that yeah. substance. No, no, no. By the way, uh, are there states of mind in the dream? Well, The only state is this grappling sense of having to grapple. I grappled with this all yeah, night, I that's said. That's it. Please describe what that was like. It's like, um, it's like thinking that the Trump issue no, matches the, I mean, what's it like? It's like so, bothering me. It's all, I, in I, what way was it bothering you? Go ahead. I, I couldn't drop it. I couldn't, I could not do it. It kept coming up, I kept pulling this thing up and putting it back down and pulling it up and... What's that like? Um, <clears throat> I guess... What did it do to you in the, in the dream? Where did it, physically, did it hit you anywhere in the dream or, you know, like... Well, actually, it's, it's kind of like the dream the night before that we talked about where, because I, I was like, you know, maybe laying on my stomach doing this, dropping it down and picking it up. Mm -hmm. And so people were like up, up above me periodically looking down to see if I had pulled anything up. And I couldn't see them. So I was like uninvolved with, yes, with yes, yes, anything true. else. Yeah, yeah. And that was bothersome that I... Oh, what was bothersome? Well, just that I was doing something so tedious. Oh, okay. okay. And meaningless. Bother, meaningless. And... What did that do to you? State of mind, so that's all we're wondering about. State of mind. Mm -hmm. Couldn't drop it, right? I pulled it up and down again and again. Right, it's meaningless, it's bothering, but I'm, I have to do, I'm grappling. I that the word grappling, <laughs> grasp. Right, uh-huh, all night, yeah. too. Are um, you familiar with that state of mind? In other areas, Julie? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's rather important, isn't it? So what, what other words would you add to it?
It's kind of like fighting to stay awake. Fighting, fighting to stay awake. That's good. That's good. Fighting to stay awake. What does that do to you? Well, some, sometimes I get into this state at my computer yeah. where I'm like stuck. I can't turn it off. I can't stop, you know, playing some stupid game. And, um, and then I start falling asleep at my computer. And it's like I'm grappling to stay yeah, awake. That's it. Just to stay awake. And yeah. what I should do is do my work that I'm yeah, avoiding. Right. But this comes in. And this comes in. And that's an interesting ridiculous. thing. That state of mind comes in. And what does it do to all your, all your other goals? From what you just said. Yeah, I, I'm totally oblivious. Yeah, it, yeah, that's grappling, that state of mind, right? Yeah. Through, yeah, yeah, that wipes out all the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting, you see, in a dream, uh, very often this occurs, which is, you just have to look at it and say there's a problem about it being obvious. Right? It's a part to whole problem. It's rather curious. Mm. Right, so, we're going to fish. Say, Julian. Yeah. Um, watch now. I'm going to ask you several questions. Tell me what it does to you. By the way, do you know what you're doing in the dream? No, you're dropping it. Yeah. 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 Uh, what are you dropping it into? Uh, uh, ginger ale? No, no. It's beer? water. Beer? Oh, water. Mm -hmm. Oh. And what do you want to know? I want to know if the sub, if the liquid in the container. But uh, by the way, in terms of your experience, do you have an answer to it? Uh, what did you say it was again? Beer? No, no. Did you say ginger ale? Well, water, water. Yeah, but. Uh, right. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. What does that mean? Well, I don't. I'm not aware of there being any holes in the container. So when I pull it up, I'm wondering, is that liquid in there but, some original commercial stuff that but was... do you know what it is? On the other hand... Well, it's obviously, I guess, water. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, wait a minute. So on the obvious side, you know what, you're you know what it is. Mm-hmm. Right? It's obvious. But... You're treating it like as if it were a problem. Yeah, or interesting. Right, as if it was a problem. A problem, yeah. Right. Do, do you have the answer? Yeah, it's obviously the water. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was like a yeah. conspiracy or some, yeah, some commercial substance <clears throat> that was in there to begin with. Yeah. Like they sold it to me that way? Yeah, it's obvious. It's toxic or something? But, yeah. but what do you think of all your worries? Are they real? If, you, if it's obvious, do you know what it is? No. What does that mean, no? The concerns are not real. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. That was the. Oh, well, that's very interesting, right? Is it some kind of all this is uh, hmm. not real, but you're believing it's real, <laughs> right? Yeah. 
hell? Oh my god. What? That's gross. I don't like this dream. And the people are wondering, what is she pulling up? Uh, like, they're, they're just as, uh, as you are. Is that right? They're better. They're only p- peripherally interested. Yeah. I'm grappling with it. <laughs> uh, about something that's real or that is not? That's not real. Yeah. You don't think that's an important dream? Yeah, that is. Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay. I can Ooh. see something now then. What do you say? Well, you know, when the guy, you know, the girl at the young group says, he's so hard to read. What is he saying? And like the guy says, oh, well, it's just saying, you know, you got to recognize both. And like I took it kind of like hook, line, and sinker. I kind of said, oh, okay. What? I took what lines? Like, hook, line, and sinker. What he said. Which is? That you have to realize that, that there's a conscious and an unconscious. You have to accept that. And you took it as if it was a problem. I took it as... Okay. No, I took it as true. Well, as that, a, is a, that is a difficulty in, in deciding whether or not there's an unconscious. Right. By the way. Right, that's wait, the wait. question I yeah, have. I, I yeah, yeah. You're in a group of, of, of people who are interested in Russian cosmology. Is that what it was? No, no. What no. kind of group? This the was... Fishermen. No, these are... What kind of group? Um... Psychology. Oh, oh, and they have to accept the fact that there's an unconscious. Yeah, I can see why it would be a difficulty for psychologists to think there's an unconscious. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Is that right? Oh. Well, Personally, I have a problem with that term. I mean, it seems to be a word that... You took it as a problem. Yeah. But you have your own personal belief that there's something wrong with the idea. Is that what you just said? Well, I would rather use other terms for it, I guess. But does that mean you're dumping the term? If I would rather use other terms, does that mean you're dumping the idea of the unconscious? In your own thinking? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. given the Trump example that I came up with to better understand it, it was, I took it to be that there are some things we don't like that we have to, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I have trouble with that word unconscious. Mm. When you have trouble with it, does that mean you, you have grounds for rejecting it? Um, no, no. Oh, you don't want to reject. Yeah, okay. What I did what? was... What? I acted as though I accepted what he said. Wait a minute. You acted as if you accepted what he said, but all the time you... I was... Not accepting it. I wasn't believing it. Wow. I find that interesting. Yeah. What does that mean? Well, it means I wasn't being honest with him. I was acting like it was, like I accepted it, but I didn't. What's that state of mind like? I got it now. Go ahead. It's, um... That I... Say it again. I acted as though I accepted what he said, but I knew I didn't. Hold it. I acted as if I accepted accepted it, but in fact... I didn't. I didn't um, understand. What's that like? What? What's that like, acting as if you... Right, as if it, you did accept it, but... It's uh, like putting didn't. up a wall. That's a, like a wall. Mm-hmm. Right? And it's... Come on, more. Yeah. More. Well. Are you creating a problem for yourself? Do 
you accepted, hey, I acted as if I accepted something, but I really didn't. And then you're trying to grapple with the thing that you've finished it, that you really have rejected. Uh, what would you call doing this? What, what, what do you call this? When you act as if you accepted something, but in reality you didn't? What's that like? So, uh, by the way, is that... Uh, yeah. Putting on a mask? Yeah. Where does that come from? Where do you have to... Where does that come from? That you have to act as if you're accepting something, but in fact you rejected it. How long has that been with you? Well, that's <laughs> for a long time. Um, what, yeah. what does it cost you? Hmm. Uh, whoa. Mm. <laughs> that's an expensive one. Yeah. And you're not allowed to get out of it. It's like a wall. It, yeah. You're right. You're stuck there. Yeah. Right? Mm hmm. Mm. But all the while, yes. you have the answer. Well. All the while, you have the answer. Yeah, okay. Oh, see? Mm. But I didn't. I rejected it. See? That's the answer. You're keeping the answer from yourself and making believe you don't know. You're playing dumb. Is that what it's called? Well, I don't know. Uh, well, I mean, I in. could have at the end of the night, I could have reviewed those three pages and gotten it clear in my own mind what I disagreed with. But Pardon I didn't. Me. Pardon, so. me. Pardon me. Did you or did you not say from the beginning that you already had rejected that idea of the unconscious? Why do you have to go over three pages and sweat <laughs> over it? Are you playing dumb with yourself? I may be, yeah. Well, because you're making believe it's a problem and yeah. I've got to study okay. to make sure that... Yeah. Is that right? Okay, yeah. How long have you been doing that? I, um, mm -hmm. That's a very, very, very profound dream, isn't it? Grasp your whole problem. A lifetime, right? Is that right? Yeah. It's weird. I'm finding it very weird, but maybe that's... There's nothing weird about it. You have the answer. Wait a minute. There's nothing weird about it. You have the answer. What's weird is that you can't show that you have the answer. Hmm. Okay, well, just... Okay, I think Jung is saying something else in those pages. He's not simply saying, we have a conscious and an unconscious, and you have to accept that. He's not. It's more nuanced than that. It's more what? <coughs> nuanced. Huh? <laughs> it's more what? <laughs> <laughs> it's more, you know. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Somebody can finally tell Jung what he meant. <laughs> what, what, what? Oh, God. What did David say? I forgot. <laughs> he said somebody can finally tell Jung what he meant. Yeah, that was Jacoby. Hmm. Jacoby and Myers? That was his girlfriend, <laughs> or the woman who represented his thought, but forget oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, what are you going to do about it? 
going to stay behind the wall? I'm, not, I'm curious now. I want to take this home with me and grapple. You want to <laughs> grapple with it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to grapple. I, I promise I won't grapple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's so difficult that she's going to have to grapple with it. Yeah. Right? Or the, impl- or the implications of it. Well, you've got to have a midwife talk about stuff like that. Oh, yeah, because she doesn't know what she knows. Hmm. I think, this, I <laughs> no, think no, this, no, this no. means that she gets it perfectly. What did you say? He thinks I got it perfectly. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, here's somebody. Please. <laughs> you know, I, I was struck in the dream by the repetition of the, the drop and pickup. Yeah. And I'm kind of curious if there's anything there for you, like, what had the repetitions taken place? Like, why was it again and again? Yeah. 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 Like, why did you need to do it again and again? Yeah, what was it that you saw, you know, you picked up the first one? Yeah. And what caused you to go for more? It's my language. These questions are on her mind. Does that create the need to do it again and again and again? Yeah. What, what I was left with, my yeah. experience listening yeah. to you, yeah. kind of fit in this mm-hmm. obvious, but sort of like you got the result, but you discarded it and went for another. Mm-hmm. And you got that result, and you discarded it, so go for another. It's sort of like you were not uh, accepting what was coming. So you kept going for more. Looking yeah. for not not accepting what was obvious. Yeah. 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 Curious? Yeah. Well, no, I mean, no, you make it clear that it's pretty weird. I mean, what, what am I doing well, with this blue... Easy. Plastic. The question is, why are you continuing it? There's no problem about what you're doing. There it is. The question is, why do you keep it? You know what you're doing. You know, you know it's foolish. The only question is, why do you right. continue it? Right. Let me ask you a question, okay? Uh-huh. Right. Foolish, yeah. Yeah. What would have happened at that young Ann meeting if you told the truth? Your truth? Uh, well... What would it do to the group? Can I assume you have a certain background you might be able to use in putting into words that might challenge his idea of the unconscious? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what would happen if you had trained it, if you had shared it? Well, um, I have in the past shared stuff like that, and it kind of um, seems to quiet them. They, they, I don't know. I feel bad, I guess. What? what? I feel bad. Yeah. After I yeah, say, it feels bad to tell the truth. It feels like I've stopped them from... from Playing. From playing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a spoiled sport. Yeah. Right. Telling you the truth. Spoiled sport, yeah. But, you know, if I could tell the truth, I don't think I'd even be going to this stupid group. Oh, ouch. I mean, what am I doing there anyway? Uh, what are you doing? No, I've been studying you for 40 years and I'm still going to a stupid <laughs> young group? That you already reject in principle? Yeah. And who can't listen to you when you have a truth to tell? Thank you. There you go. That's very powerful, isn't it, David? Okay. <coughs> yeah. Isn't there language at the beginning of your dream which gives you your exact judgment of what you were learning? Or what what you saw in that discussion? I was wondering if you wouldn't read the first paragraph again, because there was language right there there. that described how she valued Mm -hmm. what was going on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all night I was grappling with the issue of there being something like a blue container 
like a square container of plastic that was submerged in the unconscious, like I was holding it by a fishing line, like as a child with a drop line. Just drop the line down, down there. And then I'd fill it up, and there'd be like water in No, it's water. It. There's one more thing. That was the question. Was it mm -hmm. some commercial substance, commercial substance that was in it from the beginning? There's something I can drink here that's real. Or did I drop it in and the water leaked in? Okay, yeah, I, th I thought I saw something different. I'm sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. All night. Drop it down there anything? and pull it up. I don't, I don't see anything. What was the nature of this? Yeah, I, I, I was exactly. trying to make a contribution, but... but when does this? Uh, okay, sure, sure. Okay. When, we'll all take cash. When does the yeah. Union Society meet? Mm -hmm. no, the the second fun. Friday of the month. So that was last. Wait, it was today? The last Friday. Oh, I'm sorry, last Friday. Before, before I you explored a dream and before you had a dream that morning. Right. On Saturday. Right? Yeah, I had just come from the group. I, I yeah. Seemingly insignificant audience, the observers. Yeah, the peripheral, yeah. Yeah, um, again, what resonated for me, that may or may not work for you, was like maybe they're waiting to hear from you, like you've got something to say in the matter. <laughs> it that, seems like, yeah. No, no, no. Oh. Does it seem that way, or is that true? Why use, well, the, why use the word seem? They're, okay, yeah, good question. They're only looking to see if I, what I pull up. They're not, like, asking me. But they're waiting. They're walking by and periodically looking down to see what I had pulled up. They were only peripherally interested. So they never they're engaged the, like, me in a question. Or, they're the, yeah, then. Yeah. Wait. Right. I would suggest that, that right. might also dovetail no. with ah, thank you. your inauthenticity would ensure that they don't stop and engage. Because you're hitting off from that. See how that can play together? No. No. If you're you're not sharing the yeah. Okay. That's right. Yeah. So what you're aware oh. <laughs> of, you pretend not to be aware of. Uh-huh. And people will just pass you by because you're not sharing that. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Good. Thank you. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yours. <laughs> Thank you. So what are you going to do now? You ready? I'm going to go buy a plastic square box. <laughs> In my life? Or I mean, where were you dropping the bucket? The, the setting of the dream. Uh, it was like a in my childhood, sitting on a dock, laying on a dock with a drop line, getting fish with hot dogs, right? On the dock. On the dock, yes. See, that suggests the origin of it goes back to that age that right. you saw yourself in the dream, right. which is, would be how old? Um, three. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Worthwhile looking at. That right. was, yeah. 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 That's what I used to do. Yeah.
אוקיי? I was at the doctor with Lily. She was being seen, but I was asking the doctor something about myself. I carefully pulled a syringe wrapped up in a Ziploc bag out of my pocket and explained to the doctor how another doctor had given me this medicine to inject into my knee, and I had been doing so, that the last time I had Uh, that I, last time I had done it had been a week ago and it had made my knee feel incredibly better and it was still working. The doctor seemed disapproving and not impressed and explained to me how it was just an analgesic that numbed my pain and had no therapeutic effect. I felt like I was trying to obtain some type of drug that had some pleasurable effect, like pain medicine or something, but I told the doctor that since the beneficial effect lasted so long, I thought the medicine in the syringe was some type of inflammatory which would help my knee heal. I told him this out of guilt and to defend myself from the appearance of me trying to score some drugs. Then I threw the syringe in the trash and told him I didn't want just an analgesic. The doctor turned his attention back to Lily, who had filled out some paperwork and was agreeing to have whatever procedure done. I looked at the papers and realized she had made this decision without me and freaked out. I violently snatched the paperwork from her and said, what, do you th what, you think you can make these decisions by yourself? I'm your dad and you have to ask me. We're over it. Let's go. I looked at the doctor and felt like I had done the right thing in assuming authority. I quickly realized that I overreacted. There was no need to be so rude and that I had embarrassed Lily. I also realized that I was going to approve and decide to have the procedure done on Lily in the first place. I apologized and felt stupid. Lily seemed a bit traumatized. Okay. Hey. Same problem. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Where's the problem? Well, I think there's two going on, huh? Maybe, yeah? Go ahead. Uh, well, one, um, well, there's three, actually. The one, I don't know why I started talking about myself when we we're there to see Lily. Uh, that's a minor problem. Go ahead. Well, uh, and then, Uh, I don't know why I uh, like I put this guilt on myself feeling like I was trying to score drugs when I wasn't I was actually uh, impressed with how good this uh, medicine was working on my knee And since it lasted so long, I thought, you know, it was, hel it was actually curing the, uh, the problem with my knee. Uh, uh, but then, uh, so, uh, so I threw it in the trash and told them, and I don't know, is analgesic even the right word? Something that none, okay. anyways. Oh. But, so, yeah, so I don't know why I brought up all that on to myself. And then the other problem is uh, that I got mad at Lily uh, for doing what we were there to do in the first place. And like I wanted to be in charge, but there's no real reason. She already knew that we were there to do that. There was no real reason. I was going to agree in the first place to have it done. And uh, 
So this is a, this is a part to hold in. So just as the other was. Can you say that again? Part to hold dream. Uh. What does that mean? That means you have to look at the dream as a whole and look for the puzzle that's already there and the dreamer will never see it. Okay. That's why I brought it. Right? <laughs> but it's there. Okay. Like, uh, this is uh, curious that's coming up twice because this is, you can call this a uh, situation. Kind of a situation problem, right? Which is hidden, yet obvious. So take a look, see? What would you say is the core problem in the dream? The dream, the, the dream as a whole, magnificent, see, all the pieces fit. But there's something about the whole of it that can change the problem. And you have to see it. And yet, it's a hidden situation problem. And the dream, it, the dream master, or whatever is sending this dream, is giving it to you. So, so what would you say is the problem? The? What, it would, what would you say is the problem? Try it again. <clears throat> the problem? Uh, well, is there two? I'm, I'm seeing... I'm seeing whatever, whatever okay. it is. What would you so say? I'm seeing one that I'm assuming this that uh, that I'm feeling like I'm trying to con the doctor, or I'm thinking the doctor thinks I'm trying to con him into giving me drugs, but I wasn't. So that's not the problem. You're, okay. <clears throat> in the dream, you're saying that's not the problem. Therefore, it's not the problem in terms of the dream. But it felt like. That could be a worry in the dream, and you're answering it within terms of the dream, and that's the end of it. It does seem like there was a lot of trauma involved in that scene, you know, like uh, mm -hmm. between me and Doc. And then uh, the problem is that... Go ahead. I want to hear your answer. I got one, but... Go ahead. Well, so in both scenes, there's no problem, but... There there's is. A, there's an expert. The role of the expert is what I was thinking. That you may be correct, but you're not. Right. So the doc, he's got the analgesic, and it's doing great. Right. And the doctor comes in and gives him shitty advice, and he throws and, and he, he accepts it. That's, and then in the second scene. That's okay. You're on the right track. More. Come on. Mm -hmm. I think there's something. In the line where the doctor says that would be after numbs of pain that doesn't have therapeutic effect. Okay. So this is these are these are remarkable dreams because you have to ask yourself what the dream master is doing. It's, it's very creative. With these kinds of dreams are very creative. Yeah. How would I know more about the sense he says I looked at the doctor and felt like I had done the right thing and assuming authority? Okay. Hmm. Say, so, yes. Hmm. Lily is to be cured as you are to your ailment. Say, so, read the first sentence for me. I was at the doctor with Lily. Okay, look her. Go ahead. Read it again. I was at a doctor with Lily. 
she was being seen, but I was asking the doctor something about myself. Thank you. What were you asking? Um, I wasn't really asking anything. I was telling him. No, right. By the way, do you have a doctor? Yeah, obviously, some no. another doctor gave no. me the no. No. medicine. No. Who should be talking to? I should be talking to my doctor, no. right? Yeah, this doctor had nothing to do with it. Right. Right? So that's the yeah, right? That's what a part that, of the problem. What does that mean? I'm creating a problem. And and doing and, what with and the, looking for mm. advice from somebody that's not really uh, involved in the or, or knows about the situation, perhaps. Good heavens, that's a great way of putting it. Ask, say it again. <laughs> Go ahead. Come on. I am creating a problem by doing what? By uh, telling my story to another doctor. Uh, I like the way you said it a moment ago. Okay, uh, by asking advice from somebody who is not involved in the situation or doesn't know about the situation. Who is not my authority. Right, who is not. Right, oh, okay. What does that mean? Um, well, I do this. What do you do what? I do this quite a bit. What's that? I'm, I was like, I'm looking for approval that I don't need from somebody that maybe knows less than me, right, about it. Because I know it's, it's working, so... You mean do you do this it? all over? I do that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of it in terms of what the dream is telling you? The strategy you have. <clears throat> You're going to. Well, I just threw away the syringe that, or the medicine that was working too, right? They, I took, I took. Or if you did have a question about it, what should you have done? Went to somebody who knew about another doctor. Y your, right? your doctor, authority, right? right here. Right. And you do this a lot. I do that a lot. It's a big theme in my life. What? It's a big theme in my life. Big game. Theme. Theme. Yeah. Game. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> What do you think of it? I think I'm stupid. No, no name calling. <laughs> no, it says that at the end. Yeah, let your friends call you names. No, no. I felt stupid. Thank uh, you. What does it do to you? I make, I make myself feel stupid That's asking, right. yeah, asking That's people right. what yeah. I already know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I people like that. that don't know that What's much. that like, feeling stupid? In uh, that sense. They oh. would have made my dad happy. It makes your dad happy. <laughs> <laughs> How do you make your dad happy? By uh, letting him think he knows, or make, you know, letting him be the expert. When in fact? He, he does not. Mm. And you sometimes take his, take his advice? Well, seldom, but I, I, uh, I'm, well, yeah, I guess in some ways, yeah. Yeah, Replicate, yeah, yeah. Are yeah. you taking his advice in the dream? The um, you know what? The, the whole, like, ripping the, uh, the, uh, papers away from Millie and being, getting all mad, you know, it's like, I'm acting like him. Yeah. You're acting like? My father. Yeah. 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 What do you think of that? Time to quit? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I've been working hard <laughs> at it. <laughs> I'm wondering, yeah, maybe lately I've been I'm wondering how I've been reassuming that uh, role. Look here, and the important things in your life right now. Yeah. Where are you doing this? That's what I'm. That's what I'm looking at. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, I got. A, yeah, yeah, I got a few. Yeah, they're coming up like that. Come on. <laughs> And what's it going to cost you if you keep doing this? And follow the advice when you know it's empty. It, yeah. Yeah. All right. Time to check myself. <laughs> <laughs> All because you love your father. 
Yeah, yeah, whatever that word means. Yeah, that's a model. Right. Time to uh, get into reality. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I shouldn't have turned it well, off. Well, the whole purpose was for Lily to be seen, so... It's undermined. That whole thing gets undermined. Yeah, the goal is yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a price. Yeah. 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 <sighs> See, that's why these kinds of dreams, it's right in the... Invariably, it's in the first two sentences. It's always there. Okay, you read it. Okay. No copies, he wrote it out by hand. <clears throat> I'm going to just record this. Hmm. Okay, this is... Um, 12.15, I think Wednesday night. <clears throat> I pulled up to this bike stand. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the clothing designer guy and Lance Armstrong were there. <laughs> two guys, two? How important are they in your world? Is that Lee Armstrong, the guy who lives in your neighborhood? No, Lance Armstrong. Like, <laughs> uh, no, he, he's a champion. Champion? Yeah. Right, right. They're both right. champions. Both are champions. Yeah. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> Right, right. Go ahead. They were going to start selling giant bicycles. Giant's the brand, like not these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, wow, that's so great. I'm so. Uh, so, do you have the Elite RS1? No, we're not carrying that model. If more people like you were carrying it, would want it, we'd carry it. <clears throat> hmm. In the interim, I extended my hand to give Lance Armstrong a high five. I was all jazzed up. <laughs> he kept his arms tucked in. He wouldn't meet me or give me a high five or shake my hand or whatever was going to happen. So somehow or another, I ended up in the bottom of his place, this old bike shamble place. <clears throat> it was like moving in the direction of me starting to work for him. I could tell, like inside I was thinking, this guy's kind of a, I say dick, kind of a dick. Like somehow or another, again, um, I started moving his stuff into his place. I ended up, ended up going to this old place where he had lived and trained for the Tour de France. It was like this ranch house thing in Texas. Just, just a bunch of, just bunks for riders, I was guessing, or students. We were looking out the window, and I was like, this guy is kind of like my hero. And that's the end of the dream. Hey. One of the strangest things around this place is that 
the dreams follow the same pattern. This is another one that's exactly like it. Same thing. <laughs> what do you see? Well, is it hard to hold issue? Bang. What do you see? I don't. I don't oh. know what you see. Nah. Okay, uh-huh. I thought that all meant you were seeing. Maybe you were. What were you saying? What do you, what do you see? Well, I'm wondering. Oh, I'm on. seeing that there's that transition where he does not get Lance to give him a high five, and then suddenly he becomes his that's true. worker. Yeah, that's true. But Pierre, yeah. what are you seeing? Why should I tell you? Because I asked. What the hell do I want to do? You got a good bit. I want to get a better answer. Come on. What do you see? Same problem. I don't see it. Huh? I don't see it. Yet. Same problem. Uh, there's two people there, and he follows the fraud rather than the other guy. Like, I would want to know the two champions. That may be true. That's half of it. Good. Mm-hmm. Well, yes. when he didn't. Uh, when he didn't uh, uh, give the high five back, and then he said, oh, this guy's a dick. Um, uh, Look her. Okay, that's okay. That's all right. I should I should maybe add, Pierre, that uh, one of these champions, he was a, the clothing designer, was a champion, but now he's slipped into this there mediocrity. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the mind knows that. Okay. Yes. Back row, going, going, try it. I, I'm just curious, you know, earlier on you gave sort of a guiding post of like what was the objective, what was being sought, what was the goal. True, keep all those in mind. Go ahead. So I, I was kind of curious, was there anything like that in your having met these two fellows? Was there something intended that you could get out of that meeting? Yes, but that's not the question. Keep my question going. <clears throat> How are the major figures <clears throat> in the dream functioning okay. in terms of the drama of the dream? Did you read the first? The clothier. Yeah, you got that. The champion, he's not saying anything. No. Well, the, uh, <clears throat> the guy that uh, Lance doesn't uh, give you a high five back. And then you figure out that he's a dick. But then at the end, you're, 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 you're saying he's your hero. Well, they're functioning. Okay, look. Um, if you were in that scene instead of him, how would you judge it? How are these people functioning? What's the key expression that will allow you to see how they are functioning? Right? This, okay, look, stay, stay with me for a moment, okay? This is his ideal. This is a problem of his ideal. Hey, this is really interesting on two levels. All right? What can we say about the way he is function? he, the dreamer, is functioning in respect to his hero, given what is being said in the drama of the dream. 
It's here on the board. What does it mean if he says, I would, he said, say, do you have the elite? He says, no, no. If more people were like, like you, we would have it. What does that mean? You're different. How, how is his hero functioning? He's a recruiter kind of thing. Pardon? He's kind of like a recruiter. Like, get some more people into it as well. If more people like him wanted that superior bike, he would offer it. So what is he offering? Yes. Nothing. That's right. Second rate stuff. They're offering yeah, but is that right? Yes. Stuff. What does that mean? Your hero is doing what? How is he functioning? Oh, nice. Huh? Not like a hero. Um, he's functioning like a business guy. Yeah, a capitalist. That's it. That's it. Supply and demand. See? How's he functioning? Yeah. Right? Part to hold. Same drama, same dramas. Now, keep your mind on this statement. What does that do to you? What you just said, what you just saw. What does that do to the dream? Well, it highlights right, what they're up to. And therefore, in the end, you're going to work. <clears throat> what kind of a place you're going to be working for them, with them? Yeah, this. Not a champion, just a They're, business guy. Yeah. Well, I started to see, well, I didn't see he's a business guy. I saw he was a jerk. Yeah, and, yeah, jerk, you call him. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, he's just a right? jerk. Right, you yeah. got it. But you're, you're not following it. Right. You're not following what you're seeing. Yeah. Your seeing. actions in the dream don't follow what you are seeing. He's really, what, a businessman? You're calling him a jerk. Yeah, he's a, a jerk. A jerk, right? Yeah. Well, what kind of behavior? What should, you be, what should you be doing? Leave. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, right. Hanging around in nostalgia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it. Hanging around nostalgia. Got the state of mind? Nostalgia? Anyway. Got, this, got the words? Hanging around the nostalgia. Sounds like a good movie. Hey, Hanging around in get a that state of mind and ask one question. Where does that come from? Or I'm hanging around in a lie. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, what's that like? Hanging around that nostalgia. What does that see? That's what dream, you're doing. dreamland. Come on, more. You know, what's that oh, like? Come on. Like, yeah, just. It's just, uh... Come on, what's that do? Uh, yeah, just you're in dreamland. Like, you, you know, you're like all googly-eyed. <laughs> you know, like... What is it costing you? You're like, you know... No, I don't know. Come on, put it in words. <laughs> You know, like the cartoon, the girl that's in love, you know, with hard eyes, like, he just... <laughs> that's where you, that's you. Where does that come from? What do you, what does that mean? You're a hero. Hey. Finish it. Is a bum. Yeah, and you're treating, and you're still. I'm caught up in. Caught up in a myth. A myth, yeah. I'm caught up in a, an image. An image. But he did it still. <laughs> right, right. But I, there's two things going on. Well, really, just one. But that's right. <laughs> the hell. Come on. You just described it and you backed away from it, okay? What is it like being in that dream state? What is that like? It's like caught up in nostalgia. That's a good way of that's describing good, it. That's a good I'm at way. his old place where he trained, you know, and yeah. like ca caught looking out the window like, wow, like, you know, these guys are just like, they were nothing. 
He, at one time, he was nothing. Like, he was here just a regular dude. Yeah. And then he won the Tour de France from this spot. Yeah. I'm all caught up in this, you know. Nostalgia. Like, yeah, nostalgia. Yeah. What's that like? Come on, state of mind. Come on, state of mind. It's like you block... Yeah, it's like... I, you have to block what you're seeing. That's really. right. There's a block to your sin. You, no, you have to block... You have to put away your scene. Because I already know I went down in the basement and the, he's a jerk. Come on, what's that like? You have to put aside your, your scene. What's that like? That's like... Huh? You have to die. More. Some, Come on. Sorry? Self-betrayal. Pardon me? I can't understand you. Self-betrayal? Self-betrayal. Self-betrayal. Yeah, uh, yeah, capital S, yes. Yeah. The highest yeah. self, yeah. Yeah. What's, what's it like being in self-betrayal or in that dream state? It's like putting away your seeing. Yeah, it's like your essence dies. Do it again. It's like your essence dies. You have to, like your innermost essence, you have to like ignore. And that does what to you? Uh, this is distracting me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on. You have to ignore your inner... Your... your Self? Self, essence, essence, soul. Essence, soul. Come on. Where else do you see that going on in your life? Twelve fifteen. Where did you see that? Yeah. Got it? Yeah, that happened. Um well. Whether you choose to talk about it or not, do you see that it's going on the day before this dream? Yeah. Do you see the price you're paying for it? Um, I think so. Um. Where is that going on? Yeah, I had a kind of bizarre day, unusual the day prior. Um, Where are you putting away your sin that causes this dream state to emerge? <coughs> Where am I? Can you say that again? Sorry. Where am I putting away my scene? Yeah. The, the, yeah. And that brings about the dream state. Mm hmm. The dream state. How long have you had this state? Can you identify it in the past? Does it have a history? Come on. I, I think that. Yeah, I was like, this is the everyday backdrop of my life. Oh. So it's important to do. And to, to wake up to it, to see that it's going on. That happened the other day when I was, uh, I, I was, I, I'm applying for this position and then I was started to write what I've done, and it was shocking. To say that? Uh, like, how much I've done. Like, and I know it's always dismissed. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I, it's like the first time I even, like, saw, like, what I've done. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> you saw I've you done were, so you much. Were, you were putting away your sin. I have. 
and your mind Always. is bringing this back up to you to take a look at it. Yeah. Very valuable. Very profound. See, when you're seeing something and you have a dream that's focusing on it, it means that you're not appreciating what you're seeing. Okay, so I'll tell you, tell you what happened the morning oh, okay. prior. So I started... Well, the backdrop is, is that I think I've made... I had a breakthrough in uh, my painting. Mm-hmm. And then I was going to try to do another one similar, right? Mm-hmm. And then I decided I couldn't. Uh, I decided I, stu- I should study anatomy, which. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, so I didn't paint. Mm. Yeah, I'm looking for the states of mind rather than the event. Yes. Yeah. So you have to put those together. Which seemed okay, but I didn't. Then I ended up not getting into that. Why not? Like uh, that's the issue. Right. Right. Did you put that aside? Yeah. There it is. Right. See. What was it like studying anatomy? Come on, what was it like when you were doing what you loved? Right on track. Great, good, clear. And this came in and that? No, no, I, I didn't get to studying that. That was today. Mm-hmm. I actually did do it. Did yes, what? studied anatomy. Yes, did I, you get to the painting? Not yet. Hmm. What does that mean? Yeah, it's giving me a problem. I it's like. Yeah, I'm in a problem about it. Somehow or another, I don't think I can. There it is. I don't think I can. Do it. By the way, you'll never know until you do it. Well, I've already did it. <laughs> but I somehow or another then I think I can't yeah. <clears throat> which is so weird I'm putting away your sin you're putting away what you're saying that's tr- absolutely true yeah which is weird to me question is there something in the process you said you had a, a breakthrough in your painting yeah something in the process of what was going on there that allowed you to go through that, that process? Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. What was good, good, good. Well, I, I, like, to me, like, that's like the moment you learn to ride a bicycle, like, yeah, um, I don't know if that's a fair answer, but. I can kind of give you an, an analogy for me. I mean, uh-huh. sometimes I write poetry. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And what I do is I get stuck and just start writing a word. Mm-hmm. And I let it be a, a continue like a string of pearls, knowing that that word is going to elicit another piece to come in. And there's something going on beyond me mm-hmm. that's coming through me. And it's not concrete like anatomy. It's something that's really mm-hmm. ephemeral and kind of like connecting to another source in some way. Sure. I think I'm sensing. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. That, yeah, yeah. You did that. Well, yeah. You love, you yeah, absolutely. But uh, I guess to to a real answer would be uh, I I uh, finally did what I wanted to, and that was uh, simplifying thing simplifying things to the degree that I wanted to, mm-hmm. which which brought about a real nice unity in the painting. Mm-hmm. And also not so simple at other parts. Mm-hmm. So it was a well balanced of what I've been attempting to do. Good. I'm, I'm sort of 
but stuck with that little piece of you went for a high five and were denied. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess what's what's there again for me, like interjecting myself into your dreams of the people. Um like wanting some kind of external attaboy or approval. Well, yeah. That you're it's Lance here. Armstrong. I ride bikes. Yeah, <laughs> so. Exactly. But, what, but given, you know, how we're talking about almost the, the irony of it, it's like you're operating at a level beyond the person you're seeking approval from. Yeah, and That's he doesn't. The key. And he right. doesn't even have one of these bikes. That's, that's where I'm coming from and saying what I just said. Right. That okay. you're actually having a mentor who's below you. That's right. right. Like, why doesn't he have one there? So, and therefore, or a better one. And therefore, when the high five went on, what should you have done? Said, nice knowing you or whatever. Right. <laughs> that's the conclusion. Yeah. Right. He's not up right. to your game. Right. So why, why continue, you know, Seeking him as a mentor when he's not even at your level. Oh, I, I wasn't. I don't think I was seeking. I, I, I it's get what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of interesting that you went for the high five, it didn't come, and then what? Right, and then a yeah. drama. Yeah. Right. Good. Barn uh, days. <laughs> yeah, first. Second. I would just ask when you were in the middle of that painting. And you said you had a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. What did you notice about your ability to paint? Um, like, well, were you, were you noticing? Uh, this gives me such a good problem. Thank you. Um, what good. Did, That's good. Can you say it again? What did, what what did, did I you do? notice about your ability to paint when you were having this breakthrough? I feel like it came with ease. I didn't hear it. It came with ease? Yeah. But he, he answered that one. He said oh, he was, I just wanted to hear him. He said he was, he was doing what he wanted to be doing. Yeah. He was on a high level at that point. Right. Okay. But more that he knows how to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That you know how to do it. Yes. That you can do it. Because you said you can't believe that you do it. And so in this experience, you're actually having... In the breakthrough, you had an experience of knowing that you can do this at a fine level. Yeah. Yeah, see, he's putting away his sin. All the time. From yeah. that moment when he's doing that great painting, he puts that aside. Yes, yes you're quite right. That's a key point. Yeah, go ahead. Did you consider talking or doing a high five to the champion clothier? No, be, no, but he was second race. Yeah, he slipped into okay. mediocrity. So he was in second race. Because I wonder if you had already put far away far your seat at that point. No. 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 Okay. Fair. Well, hold it. Well, I was just thinking when the, the clothing guy slipped into mediocrity, see, I thought Lance Armstrong kind of tanked as well. Mm. Yeah, that's the yeah. uh, whole scandal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they said he was juicy. Not okay. said. Okay. He found him juicy. Okay. Bye, <laughs> guys. <laughs> well, I think we have one more. I saw a hand before. Then we go back to yours. It's 11 o'clock. Oh. Are you going to read the Gorgias or? Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? It's 11. It's 11. Oh my gosh. Oh, shoot. Sure. Are you going to be at Gina's tomorrow? Or yeah. You are? Oh, oh no. yeah, wait a minute. <clears throat> I have a day at 11 o'clock. i got to watch one of my grandchildren going through something. So it would be better if we move Saturday to Sunday. Okay, we can do my dreams. Okay, and we'll do that at Dreamers. Yeah. Sunday.
We'll just have to Hold it. double check with Gina that that's okay. Yeah. We'll have to make sure with Gina that that's fine with her. Quite son. true. So, so we will we'll ask Barbara to send out a Yeah. Oh. We'll ask Barbara to send out a memo, but we'll assume it's Sunday to have our talk between 10 and 12. Okay? And we're going to do his last dream there as well. Okay. Okay. By the way, hold it. These two gentlemen are from the great group that I was with called the Men's uh, uh, Circle, remember? Yeah. So please say hello. Hello. Thank you. You guys helped, as usual. Who do you mean? I'm David. I'm Phil Gray. Thank you. My pleasure. Fine, fine reflection. Doing great. It wasn't all your pleasure. Good again. All right. Good thing. Are you doing a dream? Wait, are you having a dream? Are you doing a dream? No. I saw a piece of paper in your hand. Okay. All right, then we'll call. We'll, uh, why don't we do something? Let me give you a problem out of the Gorgias. All right? Okay. okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Raphael, do you have a dream? No, I do. Someone that I can explore a dream. Tell me about it. Get together. I had a book somewhere.